Traveling in the fright I come with Oh, that's it! Oh! If he trailed for his own I met a strange lady She made me nervous Wow She took me in and she gave me breakfast Beautiful, wow She said, do you come from a land down under? Black joy, but not much to say. And I said to the man he tried to tempt me. Ooh, because I come from the land of plenty. He said, Ooh, come from a land down under. Ah. Where women glow and men plunder. Cool. Did you hear that thunder? <laughs> yeah. Dude, how tall are you? Wow. 6'5. <laughs> wow. We like that. I didn't realise until you stood up. I'm Nick Cunningham, I'm 31 years old, and I'm from Sharinga, South Australia. I was scouted by Port Adelaide in the SANFL from a young age, around 14, which eventually led me to going over to Adelaide to play football with the Port Adelaide Magpies. But I couldn't catch the ball, so it was back home for a carpentry apprenticeship and <laughs> that was it. Sharinga is a small farming community about an hour and a half north of Port Lincoln, very remote, out towards the Great Australian Bight. According to Google, there's 35 people that live in Sharinga. According to my dad, there's about 10. He said that a lot of people just have their mail sent there. There's a roadhouse, a petrol station, there's a church, there's a hall, and there's maybe five or six houses. That's right. pretty much it. When did you realise you could sing, Nick? <laughs> I still wonder if I can sometimes, to be honest. It plays on your mind a little bit, and the self-doubt definitely creeps in at times. That was just beautiful. I mean, uh, you look like you would, should be a point guard or a ruckman or something in, instead of a muso, but that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, you got it on the second one. Uh, my name's Nick Cunningham. I'm from uh, like a tiny town in the Great Australian Bike called Chiringa. Yeah. Um, yeah, ex-AFL player, Aussie rules player. You um, oh, you played footy? I played Aussie rules when I was a kid, yeah. Oh. Um, I'm a chippy now, so. Oh, nice. Yeah. And, you're and a, how you're did... a what? You're a what? Uh, a carpenter, a carpenter sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They call them chippies here. Chippy. Ch chippy? Yeah. chippy. Chippy. No chippy. idea why. Just go with it. Like wood chips, <laughs> chippy. Uh... Oh, like wood chips. Yeah. Chuck, 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 what a wood, chuck, chuck, what a wood, chuck, 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 what? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> um, ha has this an, always been something that you've had as, as I guess, a, a passion? Yeah, always been passionate about music. Um, played through school. I love it. And who's your heroes, like musically and vocally? Yeah, I love the folk kind of folk music, mm -hmm. quieter stuff. Me too. Relaxing kind of music. Yeah. Because yeah. that's the thing about the voice performance. It's not necessarily about big notes and moments. It's, it's about what's authentic and the feeling that you create. And that's, that's what matters. You created this peaceful vibe in the room and, and it just stayed there so beautifully. Um, musically, I loved what you were doing, the percussive nature and the, the harmonics and everything you were doing with the guitar was beautiful. And that low resonant voice mm. that you've got is really great. Really great. Thank you. It's so, such a different audition. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Mm. Can, can I just say, that was probably the most epic and hauntingly beautiful version of such an iconic song. And I loved that you 
that you took it that way, really. Um, it was raw, it was so epic and powerful that I can see you doing so much more. And I would love to be on that journey with you because, yeah, you, you are something else. Um, I'm looking forward to that. Thank you. Nick, yeah, that was phenomenal. Uh, when, when I first heard your voice, um, instantly I could hear a seasoned voice, you know, somebody who knew exactly who they were. And then I turned around and then I saw you and then I was like, Holy shit, this is incredible. Mm. Like you are a one man band. You could play arenas. You know, you can, you can I don't even know if I'm allowed to curse, but um, <laughs> I'm just saying how I feel it. Um, but you still have that authentic nature because you have a story to tell and you're gonna tell that story, whether it's here or in a room full of thousands of people. Mm. Um, and I don't think that I've felt that way about an artist uh, before, but I feel like this, is an act that could literally be as large as you physically want it to be personally. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, Nick. You were extraordinary. Like, you changed the shift of the energy in the room, and I've never felt anything like that before. Thanks. And, you know, you might be surprised by this, but, like, I'm kind of a nerd when it comes to like my knowledge of music. And even though I love all the flashy glamour and all the fancy dancey stuff, like I do know my thing with music. Like I do feel like I have enough knowledge to help you get all the way in this competition. And I'm down to take this incredible journey with you and also challenge myself. Like if I'm put in the hot seat, like I'm not gonna stop until I get it right. So, you know, I hope that's enough with you and me. I don't know, make up, but I'd love, love to have you on my team. Cheers. Yeah. Well, Nick, time to, uh, it's time to decide what coach you're going to go with. This is uh, a really hard decision. Jess! 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 Let him do his own thing. Uh, I'm gonna go with Rita. For real? Wow! You're not gonna regret this. Hello. The song that I've been given is Young Hearts Run Free by Candy Staten. This song is a long way out of my comfort zone, being a disco track. It's going to be tough. Oh, 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 young hearts, to yourself be true. And don't be no fool when love really don't love you. The artist that I'm taking through for the ultimate callback is... It's Nick. Congratulations, Nick. This ultimate callback is between my storyteller, Nick, and my powerhouse, Emily. For Emily, the song I have chosen is I Will Always Love You by Dolly Parton. Emily has to try and approach this not like a typical cover, make us believe that what she's singing is really what she's feeling. For Nick, I have chosen Last Night by Morgan Whalen. From Nick, I really need to see some star power. I want some energy on that stage that really shows his presence, that he's arrived. This decision is really hard because I know they're both equally talented and they can both go far in the music industry. And so now for me, it's about who has the wow factor. Okay, so as you know, this is your last chance to get a place on my team. I wish you both the best of luck, and I'll see you at the ultimate callbacks. Coming from a sporting background, there's always going to be a winner and there's always going to be a loser. When I get on stage, I want to go better than the last performance. Everything is on the line for the ultimate callback. I'm singing for my life here.
Last night we broke up I can see your taillights in the dust You call your mama and I call your bluff In the middle of the night pulling right back up And my, my friends say let her go Your friends say what the hell yeah. I wouldn't trade this kind of love And not for nothing else Emily, the performance wasn't bad, right? It, it just lacked something memorable. You're an amazing singer. Just figure out what is special about Emily. Thank you. Of course. Uh, Nick, you sang it in this like really low key that kind of made the stakes really low. I still want the stakes to be high every single time you come on the stage. Thank you, Jason. The artist that I've decided to take through to the battle round is it's Emily. <laughs> Emily, you're going through to the battles. You guys have said some of the most beautiful things about me and you've been so supportive the whole experience. So honestly, can't thank you guys enough. Thank you thank very much. You. Thank you, Nick. Thank you so much. Give it up for Nick, everyone. I mean, you did such a great job. Cheers, brother. Thank you. No doubt, mate. That was awesome.